Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 103 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. I'm just Indiana Jones that door there and run underneath before it shuts. We gotta restore some stamina and then... Oh, uh, hello door. Uh, we are headed back through Golden Labyrinths. And... Or Golden Labyrinth, I suppose, is the name of it. And I don't think you guys can see my mouse cursor, which is unfortunate. But anyway, uh, we've completed sort of the left, or I suppose it's the western half of uh, Golden Labyrinths. If I pull up the map here, you may be able to see it better. Uh, there's sort of two main branches. And we are going to go undertake the second branch. So, I wonder if we glyphed the blink cooldown sometimes resetting, because I don't think I've seen that happen since our last reglyph. Blink, no. Let's check. Uh, if we go into glyphs, looks like we have 38 out of 41 oh, glyph points assigned. And as far as blink goes... Teleport jaunt, rather. Yes, we do have the chance to eliminate cooldown. There we go. Yep, that, that reset it. Uh, looks like I'm going to go back this way. We are at 120% stamina, so that's good. And we should be able to meet up with our slayer here. So, Alright, well, I'm going to wait for the rest of the group here. I will be right back. All right, they are here. So, looks like we are good to go. We're buffed up. I dropped a fire and started buffing and everything, so. Oh, nice. I love when people stun to put enemies inside my circle. I mean, they don't do it particularly for that reason, but man, I love when it happens. All right, another one down. Uh, our current quest is taking us in this direction, so that's Excellent. Nice. We are good to go. And that's a boss. So, let's go. This guy uh, also, many bosses in here and even many mobs do some pretty crazy jump abilities that are super, super deadly. So, this is one for us to be careful of. Uh, yeah, there we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. It was because our magma bomb was on cooldown. Okay. Uh, as I just noted, we do have three lift points available. I believe that's because after level 50, I think we gained two glyph points a level. I'm not certain about that, though. Um, as such... Although, wait a second. That, that might not make sense. I think... Oh no, 49 would give us one. Uh, 50 would give us one. And then 51 would give us one. So I think we only gained one level. Either way, uh, once we do get... Uh, few more glyph points in the form of a few more levels, uh, we should be able to procure for ourselves the uh, reduce or the chance to remove cooldown from Magma Bomb again, which would be excellent, because I really like that. Um, it does change up our rotation a bit, but I feel like, you know, we are doing a pretty darn decent job of DPSing in here. I don't know, maybe it's just uh, my perception of it, but... Alright, I'm moving along well. Let's try to get this before he... Nice. We were able to get that in before he moved. I think. I'm gonna need to heal. Uh, mana up. Not heal, but mana. We get 19 seconds of regeneration, which is a lot of time uh, in the... Oh god. Wow. Uh, 
I don't know if we actually managed to avoid that attack or what just happened there, but we didn't die. And that's excellent. Uh, because that is a really dangerous attack. Alright, so... That Vulcan is uh, basically a copy of him. It's way more confusing as a tank, I will say, than as a DPS. Because as a DPS, you can kind of see their names, but as a tank, you're just so close that uh, it makes seeing the name kind of impossible. So. Alright, let's try to get him. I wonder what's hitting him so fast. Oh, it's the warrior. Uh, not the warrior, the uh, lancer. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I really thought he was going to jump on me on that, uh... Oh god, door in my face. Everything is just conspiring against us. That was a crazy blink, but at least it got us out of the way of, uh... That guy. He's down to 4%. He should be going down. <laughs> I think my retaliate might have just killed him. That's pretty funny. Wow. Okay. Mammoth Vulc or model Vulcan down. There we go. Twist and turn. Nice warrior swords which we could save for our warrior or whatever. Ah, uh, but we didn't roll high enough. Oh well. Let me gather up all the other stuff. Holy potions of protection. Fingers crossed. We rolled a 78. I think we actually just won those. Let's check. Uh, yes! Fantastic. So we don't need to purchase any. Very, very good. Let's see. Domineering. Uh, nice. Okay, I think that's all the loot here. We can continue on. Uh, I guess they're gonna have to gather up. Okay, there we go. Good. At least that wiped out some of those guys. It can be a bit hectic to try to see what's going on at some points. Fortunately, I will say that uh, I guess because of the much fewer models and no distance to render and that kind of thing, um, dungeons do seem to have pretty nice frame rates all in. Um, so that's that's definitely good. Grab some stuff and keep going. Another room cleared. Now one of these rooms up here, uh, we basically can't clear. We have to... I just wanted to mark. Elyon is in a farther away room up here. Uh, but basically, this room we cannot clear. We'll just have to run through. And then left. And run through this room. They respawn. That's why. These things respawn. So we want to run through here and kill them in the next room, basically. So, put this up and. Although we are looking at some aggro here, it's much better than trying to deal with all of them uh, respawning again and again. Wow! That was a brutal hit. That's uh, anywhere from 1 to 7,000 damage mitigated by my shield, as well as uh, the damage that I took, which was on the order of about 15,000. So, lots of damage done there. Fortunately, we didn't die. We got our healer backing us up. Thank you. Thank you, healer. Uh, so, all in all. 
we're gonna make it. Um, Alright. Come on, Brown Zula. Die already. There we go. I need to pick up some stuff here. Ooh, a staff design. That's interesting. Grab that. And we can continue on. There we go. Our face is like blocked by. Oh my god. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. That was a mistake. That was a bad mistake. I'm so sorry, tank. Looks like we're doing okay, but still, I feel bad about that. That was a joke. We gotta restore some mana here. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Try to blast these guys as much as possible. Almost down. Nice. Try to fire blast them. Good. Got them with that. And I could use that uh, Samus Blast thing, but uh, they're not really in a line and they move around so much I have a feeling it's not going to go over terribly well. Wow, that pound hit me all the way back there. Try to put our shield back up. And there we go. All right. Wow. Okay. Gather this. Uh, ooh, new shoes. We can roll on those. We could use some shoes like that. Did we actually bring those? Yes, we did. Wow. That does require level 53 or above. This event. This is an event, so. Alright, so basically we want to run in here, talk to Elion, and uh, grab the weapon Force tightly. Favors the patient. Uh, well, we want to wait for everybody to get here, but then. Alright. Ready for. Battle. Think deeply. There we go. Alright. We actually want to get over here and. Oh uh, no, they're attacking. They're fighting right on that. Uh, there we go. Attacking that thing. That golem over there sends the spikes up. Uh, so, you know, something to keep in mind if you're doing this. I generally try to pull the golem over close to the group, so it's easy for somebody to keep hitting him. Uh, the golem can't die. It's got like a huge amount of health, and I don't think damage even does anything to him. So. Uh, but that's what causes that to... Oh my. That's what causes that to trigger. So. See? We can attack him, send the spikes up, and then we're good to go. Alright. There we go, nice. Blast him. There we go. We are well, well out of uh, rested XP at this point, by the way. We are 11% through our next level, so.
Hmm. Nice, I think we managed to hit three of them there. So that's good. And then bam, uh, avoid their jump. Blast that. Alright, those guys are dead. Oh boy, more things incoming. There we go. Shooting that guy raises the spikes again, like I said, and uh, that helps to spread the enemies out a bit. Um, slow them down, knock over big ones, that kind of thing. Um, so, always useful. Alright, collect up some loot while we're waiting. There we go. Gather, gather, gather. Oh, Max. I wanna try to... Ha, oh, excellent. Fantastic. I would love that the Lancer blocks all that damage that should have just hit me when that, uh, that guy did his swirly thing. Um, still took damage from the jump, though, since that's not something the Lancer was blocking. Looks like we got a minute 20 left. Not bad. Not bad. Do do do. Now we wait. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't triggering before. But that's how that works. If we seriously have to just sit here for 45 seconds, I'm going to be mildly ticked at Elyon for making us wait. Um, this is a little silly. Elyon, let's get a move on, bro. What you doing? I do like our new fancy robes. We've got nice pants and they're very... I don't know, we got like a, a feather pattern across the front here. Shoulder guard. Amazing sleeves. And a nice little drapey bit in the back that looks really pretty. So, I like it. Uh... Okay. Alright, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Two Elyons, cool. Alright, where do I go? Right away, alright. We need to get Parser Bus. So, now we can get going. So, now we can go kill the next boss. Uh, which we did not want to do before. Otherwise... It would be uh, not able to complete our quest. So, shield them up. And then let's see what we can do. Yep. Somebody was just noting that we were all little tunes, which. Alright. Oh yeah, hey, everyone in the party is an Ellen except me. Oh, man. Missing out on the fun. That's fine, though. And the, like, male version of the Ellen, which I guess is okay, too. And, uh, my Lancer's Ellen, so... I don't want to play all the same type of character. Um, but... Actually, on the other server, I've got, uh... I've got the Ellen Lancer, and i got a High Elf, uh, an Amon, and a Kastanic. None of whom I've put nearly as much uh, work into it as my Lancer. But still, they exist. I play them sometimes. Alright. Magnum Bomb. 
Magma Bomb and Drown Gula. What's up? Alright. Honk to you too, car. I don't know if that showed up on the recording, but somebody just was honking all rude like outside and I inside of my place. Alright. Weapons away. Ready to go. Let me go ahead and I one, two, yes, yeah, people are just saying how after Undead and Torrin and WoW, the Ellen are refreshing. It's nice being able to play characters that are smaller, cute, whatever, you know. It appeals to a decently wide demographic, which is nice. I should say, Terra has classes, or races rather, to appeal to a, a wide set of demographics so that most people can find something that they want to play. Um, so yeah. Drown Gula. Let's try to fire blast these guys again. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Blast, blast, and fire, magma bomb. Nice, there we go. Alright, so we are on to the next boss. Next boss is this sort of tag team of this guy and his dog. Uh, so we gotta be careful here, but we should be able to beat them. And of course they run out of range. We gotta focus mainly on the dog. The dog is more dangerous uh, in this situation, so... The gluttonous fiend. Alright, let's try... Ah, okay. I see. We didn't... I don't think we had enough mana for our... Fire Blast. Here we go. Excellent. And our Cerberus will summon at some point. Ah, there we go. Uh, extra dogs to fight us. So that's very dangerous. They have a tendency to get behind the tank and just mess up everybody. So. Wow, why? Oh, derp, you know, stupid keyboard, I was accidentally hitting the wrong set of keys because I moved my fingers off for a second and instead of hitting the uh, W, A, S, and D to move around and having my other spells be right around that, um, I was hitting like off to the side, which was really frustrating and uh, problematic. So. Alright. Bam bam. Not enough MP. We really need to take down Cerberus, so I'll go ahead and pop a potion. That gives us a nice extra amount of mana. And then try and restore some. Ah, uh, there's that guy down. I'll try and fire blast this guy. Good, good, good. The range on that allowed for it to still hit, even though he uh, moved sort of from the center. And actually, uh, after defeating these guys, I believe we'll be pretty much done with this place, although there's an additional boss, so I'm going to probably do that uh, boss before we leave. Oh no. Alright, so we need, uh, we need some AoE. This guy just summoned a bunch of puppies. And by puppies, I mean really mean hyena babies. Or something. Alrighty. Almost gotten down. Four, three, two, one, and bam. Dead. Alright, nice. Should be able to pick up some of this. 
and I will roll on that, and then we are good to turn this in. Alright, so we got a cutscene here. What's up, Elion? Okay, you just brought in Sirion, Freya. Oh man. His soul is fading, and then the core will unleash its magic. Commander, you have to decide. No, Freya. Commander, now. Oh shit. She's... Give it to me, Sirion. No. It's time for someone else to sacrifice. Oh. Sacrifice. You sacrificed your ordinary life a life of honorable struggle kaidu sacrificed his okay. future i'm going to have to escape out of this because of the length of the cutscene unfortunately but basically freya took the con took the core um and that's a big deal because it basically means the end of her normal life and that's really sad so I apologize to my group members. Um, I mean, I'm sure they're fine with one cutscene. I just don't want to sit there, and I don't know actually how much longer that cutscene is. So, as much as I want to watch it, unfortunately, I uh, don't want to waste their time, you know. Uh, since they've done it before, I know that I'm probably the only one sitting there just with that derpy cutscene thing above my head. And, uh, I don't know, a little self-conscious about wasting other people's time, I guess. It's something I aim not to do. Alright, so, Gula Reaver, blasted. And we should be good to go. Alright, Natsumi. Pull aggro, and there we go. Fire blast these guys, try to take out as many of the little ones as I can. Blast, blast, blast. Jump backwards. There we go, good. And dead, nice. Alright. Very cool. Uh, so here is the final boss. And I've been playing for an hour? That's not right. I've been playing for f more than an hour. I've been playing for an hour when I was in the queue, so I think that's bugged. Anyway, uh, this is the final boss, and that's a really creepy thing above him. I don't know what that is. But uh, at least we should be able to take this guy out. So Natsumi just said BRB. Hopefully that, uh, that means not too long, although we needed to restore stamina anyway. So that's fine. I'll just pause until they're back. Okay, looks like, uh, looks like our Lancer is back. So if everybody is ready to go, then we will probably... Yep, looks like people are ready to go. Except for Cherry Squirrel, who is still standing there. Ready? Okay, nice. All right, running in. Wow. This guy does lots of damage, jumps all over the place. Um, everything that is, you know, troublesome in a boss, I guess. We're not quite close enough to hit him with our fireballs at that range. We have to be very careful about our positioning too because while we want to stay uh, within range, we also want to stay far enough back and to the side that we're not getting hit by these wide axe cleaves, uh, which can be really problematic. So, uh, you know, something to be careful of. Looks like we got them down to 90%, uh, about 85%, moving along nicely. There we 
we go. Try and hit him with something. Okay, nice. We were still able to hit him with that uh, fire blast, even though he kind of stepped out of range. Oh boy. Gotta be careful of that. Uh, fortunately, he does a red ring on the ground when he's uh, about to use his super ice slam. I don't even know what to call it, but super ice slam seems descriptive and appropriate enough. So, I guess I gotta kill some of these things off. Oh wow. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Wow, I gotta get out of there. Thank goodness our shield held. I don't know how, but it did. Uh, and that protected us completely, so. He wouldn't have done that much damage to us if we had gotten hit by that, but it's still really frustrating because it locked us up for a bit. Uh, took away our ability to do DPS while I'm locked up, obviously. Um, so that's not good. Alright. Oh boy. We just got hit. We got hit hard. Avoiding, avoiding, strafing around to get kind of in a safer area, I think. Now we should be able to unleash one of these on him. Nice. with a fire blast. Nice, yes we can. Got about 30,000 damage in with that. Um, very good, very good. Two, one, and let's try another one. Oh god, we had aggro there for a second. That scares me because uh, if we get hit, uh, if we get like main aggro for an extended period, this guy will stomp us. We cannot survive a uh, lot of aggro from him. Uh, fortunately, we can make it through a little bit without too much trouble. I gotta put my shield back up here. There we go. Uh, but he is down to a quarter health. Yeah, if we, uh, if we had him exclusively focusing on us, I would not be able to avoid him enough to survive. Alright, Road Rage Resurrected. Uh, I don't know why, this place is not Slayer friendly. I've, uh, I've had a couple Slayers in groups where they're like the one that dies all the time. I don't know if it's just because their class tends to put them in precarious situations without any real mitigation ability or what. I mean, granted, they're in a lot more danger than I am since I can move around quickly and I attack from range, so... You know, I can totally avoid melee characters for the most part. Oh my god. Horrible. Horrible. Bad, bad, bad. No good. That was really scary. Alright. Enigmatic Seer Stompers. Not relevant to us. Axe of the Maze Bound. Enigmatic Pegasus Bow. All not relevant to us. Speed potion. Um, charm. And. Alright, so the axe. Actually, we can roll on. So we will. Uh, looks like we did not win that. And the holy potions, we rolled a 15. So we're not going to win those. Anyway, uh, now that we are done in here. We should be able to return to Castanica, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. I'm going to head back to Bellica, and, uh, just because it's convenient. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll turn in this quest and see what next, uh, what comes up next. Bye!